It is May 16th, 2014. Here's my review, two cents review on Godzilla, Back from the Dead. The first question you ask yourself when leaving the cinemas, or the first question I ask myself after watching this film is, what was Godzilla's motivation? Because that's what I need to know. Uh, there's a little humor to that uh, that question, but it's kind of the truth because I don't. he does something in the end, I don't want to give away the twist or anything like that, that leaves me scratching my head. Did he do it for the humans? Did he do it for himself? Or for another reason? Do he, is he a lonely guy and he wants to be all left alone? It seems like a lot of people are getting a different kind of perspective. Like, oh, he's doing it for the humans. I don't think so. But basically, if they want to listen, hear that, they want to like have that, then they can have that. Well, throughout this film, this is my problem, though. Maybe it's my issue. I was rooting for the monsters the whole entire film. Um... My just, I just believe that we humans are just a very narcissistic bunch. We assume that this planet is ours and ours only and no one else is supposed to be on top of the food chain. So we call these creatures monsters and they're doing all these bad things even though all they're really doing is attempting to do is procreate. Something that all animals first instinct is to do is to procreate. Is it the monster's fault? As these creatures fault that all these humans and their creations and these buildings and these like bridges are in the way of their first instincts. We have to get over ourselves as human beings here. Like they're saying, oh, we got to get rid of these, these monsters. Like when did we get to this? Like what have we been always been so entitled? Are we always been so entitled as humans? As soon as we like, uh, I call them disposable thumbs, but basically as soon as we like, evolved into having thumbs we think that we're like the, the the elite race i don't know that's just my perspective it kind of this kind of movie kind of bothers me a little bit um but i think what the filmmaker and the creators are trying to do and the studio has to try to do is a movie made it's a movie that's made in parts and because they're trying to to get each core audience member something they want so for a certain audience the younger generation perhaps perhaps not even the older generation but we know that the younger generation wants to go back and see this movie two three times and that's what makes a hit a hit all they want is monster fights and special effects and they're going to get a lot of monster fights they're going to get a lot of special effects especially in the third act for another audience all we really want or they really want is a good story something that people make fun of and i think that's lacking in these blockbuster types of movies and we get some of that uh like a good story but only in the first 45 minutes after the first 45 minutes after the first 45 minutes this movie becomes like nobody speaks a word of dialogue in this movie there's no human human interaction moment of uh of emotion it's just monsters blowing shit up and uh people having fun watching monsters blow shit up uh, someone dies at that 45 minute mark very expectingly if you're really paying attention and they move uh, right to the blowing up buildings and monster fight stuff and uh, I guess there's some sort of plot happening in that second half of the movie but I didn't really see it I think that God, this movie Godzilla is not much of a film this is just my perspective what do I know right I don't think it's an awful film it's just that I don't think it's much of a film and all I want to know at the end is what was Godzilla's motivation because he can't talk I can't get the answers that I want. Fun to see Brian Cranston though in this type of movie. It was almost like he didn't fit in. I don't know if other people felt that. That Cranston is like, what's he doing in this movie? But uh, but basically his most impactful character arc was already in the trailer. So we already knew it. So I don't even know. What's up with that? That's my review.